Sunfall here with a guy for Spelunky Monkey. This one we have to do in six minutes. So firstly you want to run up and pick this thing and then jump and push X once you get close enough. Then pick up the second one and do the same thing. Then you can jump across and jump onto it. Right here we're going to be putting the uh, statue on the first platform and then we're going to be doing a falling down maneuver. Now this maneuver is tricky, you might need to practice it, but you fall down here and then angle yourself left so you land on the platform. Then you hit that and then you grab the statue and then we can go put that onto the button. And then I'm going to show you another time saver but it's um, very time sensitive like if you make one mistake you won't be able to do it so I would only recommend doing it if you're confident you can pull it off. But basically we go over here and we hit this then we go over here and we push B on this and then we pick this up and we should make it in time before the platform goes up. And if you're not confident in that, because it only saves a little bit of time, as you can see, hit the um, statue, and when the head's coming off, then go and knock down the podium. You'll have to wait a little bit for it to rise, but you, like I said, that skip only saves a couple of seconds, so it's fine doing either way. I just wanted to show you it is possible to do both. Here you just want to tap A lightly, as I'm doing. And if you angle yourself, you can skip these two but still collect them. And this will allow you to have enough height to land onto the top platform. And then straight away you can shoot the um, thing right here. And then wait a little bit and knock down the bridge. And then we can cross the bridge. Here we have to wait a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, but once it gets close enough, we can knock down the bridge and then jump across. Then we want to... Um, do some more flying again we can take advantage of collecting the orbs to get a bit more distance than we should naturally get so if you angle yourself right here a little bit you can pick up that one and then keep going for a little bit longer than you should be able to right here I'm going to show you a tactic that it will save you lots of time if you learn it so when you get the statue head here I do make one I do make mistakes and I kept it in just to show you it does save time even if you fail but basically you get to the edge of this you make sure that it's the one that's just before it raises and then start running throw it and then jump you should make it and this will save you having to go back and do it again thus saving you an extra turn even with me stuffing up I still save time so this one here, we wait, and then we jump, and we'll be able to jump across these and keep jumping. And when we hit B on this, there's a trick you can do here to skip the second platform. So if you walk straight off this platform here, you can land onto the platform that's about to fall down, skipping the other two. Then you can place the platform head onto the switch, and then hit the head here pick it up and this is where you'll see me fail the this attempt I didn't want to rerun the run because I wanted to show you that there's plenty of times for fails so I threw it and it bounced back and I would have made it if it hadn't bounced back so what you do here and this platform you can actually stay on this part here so you got a lot more height is you just do it again and even with the one fail I've still saved myself a ton of time because I've got it the first but now we just pick up the head pieces and put them in and we can leave. When we jump on this thing you want to run all the way to the end and then just wait a little few seconds and we can grab and climb up. Straight away when you get up here aim your gun and shoot to knock this guy out. We don't want to kill him because it would just waste our time but stunning him is helpful because then he doesn't have a chance to hurt us. With this you need to take a couple of swings. I just attempt to take one swing and just barely make it so I wouldn't recommend that. This guy you do want to take out, just because he's annoying. Now here I have a bit of death perception problem, so I'm a bit slower with it. Hopefully you'll be able to see when to make the right jumps um, easier than me. But as you can see right here, I was about to jump and I decided against it. With this next one though, I have a little trick. As you can see, it has the butterfly thing on it but you wait at the back here till it gets close enough to it and then go for it the reason for this is that you are more than likely to land on the last platform 
Whereas if you don't do that, you're less likely to land on the platform. So you wait till it's about on the side there, and then you jump over. And then we just wait till this reaches the side just a little bit, and we jump over again. Then we shoot this. Then we jump over. And then this part, we just have to jump on to the right, then the left, then climb up. And then we'll pass to the two people, and that's the finish line. And congratulations on finishing this speedrun.